welcome to Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. We've just spent nine nights aboard this Voyager class ship and we've put together a deck by deck tour for you. Let's get it started. Race you to deck one. So this is deck one. This is where you get on and off the ship when you're in port. Also, if you're feeling sick while you're aboard, here's where you'll find the medical facility. Let's not race any more decks. Here you can see passengers preparing to disembark. Staff have beverages ready for purchase and hand out towels for guests to borrow. Just scan your sea pass and you're ready for a day in port. On deck two, the conference center offers several rooms for group events or meetings. The photo gallery on deck three is where you can view, order, and download the photos taken by the professional photographers on board. The kiosks make the process quick and easy. Also on deck three is Studio B, which hosts everything from parties to game shows, cooking demonstrations, and more. There are also professional ice skating performances throughout your cruise for you to enjoy and open skate times for passengers. No reservations are needed and all gear is included. guests to view. Hi Wanderers! The Metropolis Theatre is the best place to find entertainment throughout your cruise. During the day, the ship hosts informative lectures on topics ranging from marine life to shopping. At night, catch a comedy act, acrobatic performance, or musical review. Bar service is offered to guests, with waiters bringing drinks right to your seat. Moving up to Deck 5, the Royal Promenade is a major hub of activity at all hours of the day. The four-story mall features various shops selling high-end fashion and accessories, souvenirs, and convenience items. Live music plays as you stroll through the mall on your way to grab a quick snack, coffee, or Ben & Jerry's ice cream cone at Cafe Promenade. The cafe has a nice seating area where you can relax with the daily paper or play games with friends. Numerous bars and restaurants line the promenade, like Two Poets, an English-themed pub serving imported beers and ales, and Vintages, Royal Caribbean's Wine Bar, which offers a vast sampling menu, wine tastings, and classes. Off the promenade, you'll find the Connoisseur Club, Navigator's Smoking Lounge, and the Star Lounge, where events like the art auction take place, with music and dancing offered at night. Deck 5's R Bar, a dark and cozy lounge, offers custom cocktails and drink specials we often enjoyed before dinner. Have a question, concern, or complaint? Speak to a staff member at Guest Services. If you want to book a port tour, visit the Shore Excursions desk next door. Lastly, you can access the ship's helipad from Deck 5, featuring a great view of the sea 
and opportunities to reenact silly movie moments, the helipad is a bit of a secret on board, but is open to the public most days. Going up to deck six, you'll find Next Cruise, where passengers can speak with company agents to book future cruises. On deck seven is the library and card room, a quiet oasis where you can borrow books, grab a daily Sudoku puzzle, or play games with friends. For a fee, Royal Caribbean Online on Deck 8 connects you to the internet and allows you to print documents too. The Concierge Lounge is exclusively for guests staying in specialty suites and Diamond Plus and Pinnacle Club Crown and Anchor members. So Deck 10 doesn't have any public areas, it's just a lot of staterooms, and all of the stateroom hallways look just like this. So now you know. Deck 11 is probably where we spend most of our time. First up, the food. The Windjammer is Navigator's buffet-style restaurant and is also the most popular place to eat. It's open most hours of the day, and you can enjoy everything from American breakfast favorites to international specialties, sandwiches, soups, and desserts. It's all included in your cruise fare, so why not try a little bit of everything? Next to the Windjammer is Chop's Grill, a four-fee restaurant specializing in steaks and seafood. And Giovanni's Table, another four-fee restaurant that brings Italian fare served family style to the high seas. After you eat your fill, you may want to hit the gym for a good workout. At Vitality, you'll find treadmills, weight machines, dumbbells, and more. There's even a space for group classes. Visit the spa for a massage or manicure. Heading outside on Deck 11 is the best place to soak up the sun. The pool deck features two pools and four whirlpools. Grab a lounger to relax, listen to live music, and order a drink. Or boogie along with fellow passengers. Make sure you get there early so you don't miss the belly flop contest, a guest favorite. The solarium in adults only pool area has padded loungers and offers a quiet refuge away from the main pool. Hidden away at the front of Deck 11 is the Peekaboo Bridge, a set of windows that allows passengers to look down into the happenings of the bridge while you sail. Up on Deck 12, you'll find the running track open to walkers and runners. For families, you'll find the nursery, as well as the Aquanauts Club for 3 to 5 year olds, Adventure Ocean, designed for 3 to 17 year olds, and the living room, a teen hangout. Outside, Johnny Rocket serves up classic burgers, fries, and milkshakes for a small per person fee. And to round out Deck 12, visit the Challengers Arcade, stock full of your favorites like Pac Man, Claw Games, Racing Simulators, Air Hockey, and Ski Ball. Deck 13 is an active deck. First up, the Flowrider. A simulated surfing experience gives passengers the ability to surf or boogie board. Private lessons are also available. Check out Ryan's skills before he wipes out. Climb the rock wall and get an unparalleled view of the sea when you make it to the top. Play against your friends and family at Navigator Dunes, the nine-hole mini golf course. Choose to keep score or not, but make sure to brag if you win. The sports court hosts volleyball and basketball too. Perched high above the sea on Deck 14, you'll find the Viking Crown Lounge and Cosmopolitan Club, offering the best view of the pool deck and surrounding landscapes. During the day, grab a book and relax in the spacious lounge. At night, get ready for karaoke, live music, and dancing. The Diamond Club is also located adjacent to the Viking Crown Lounge. Our final restaurant on Navigator is Itsumi, a four-fee Japanese restaurant featuring popular sushi rolls, hot rock dishes, and traditional noodles and soups. 
And last but not least on deck 15 is the Skylight Chapel, which can accommodate 40 people for a small service or intimate wedding ceremony. So that's Navigator of the Seas. We hope you enjoyed our deck by deck tour. As you can see, our bags are packed, so we're leaving the ship, but hopefully you'll be getting on soon. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We'll see you next time, Wanderers. One more for safety. Gesture, maybe? Is it this way? Oh, okay. I'm being cheesy, so it's going to look awesome. <laughs>